Hello guys, Keep Right On TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes. And as well, if you haven't dropped a sub, make sure to smash that subscribe button. So in today's video, it's going to be the match preview for QPR versus Birmingham City. A massive six-pointer down the bottom end of the championship this Friday afternoon, of course. Due to um, it being a good Friday, the game's going to be played on a, um, on a Friday instead of a Saturday. So yeah. Let's get straight into it. The international break is technically still going on, but Blues are back in the next couple of days. Um, that weekend of football, I mean, I didn't even watch the England-Brazil game. Yeah, I hate, I absolutely hate the international break. But yeah, let's get into the, the previous. So starting off with the opposition team, as we always do. QPR, of course. QPR are our rivals for, um, well, in the relegation battle. They sit in 20th place, same amount of games played. We've won the same amount of games. Um, they've drew one more game than we have, and we've lost. We've actually lost more than more games than than they have, they have as well. Sorry. Um, yeah, 40 points. They're one point off 22nd place, Huddersfield Town. One point off us, of course. One, uh, two points off Sheffield Wednesday. The last five games, one, two, drew one, lost one, and drew one. So in their last five games, they've only lost one out out of the last five games. And of course, QPR, they've been in a, a good run of form lately. I mean, um, they beat uh, Rotherham at home. That was their last home win. Uh, they got a 2-2 draw against West Brom. They beat Leicester City away, who are top of the league. No, they're not top of the league. They was top of the league, but they're... they're They've been an awful run of form. I mean, they've they're completely bottom in the league, aren't they? Leicester City. Let's be fair. There was there was a point in the season where there was about fifteen points clear, something like that. But yeah, the top goal scorer as well, Chair um, is it is El Chair. However you say that, um, he's obviously not available due to obvious reasons. Um, London Dykes is their top goal scorer. Five goals, Sinclair Armstrong on four goals, Chris Willock, former Arsenal player, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, on four goals. Jack Colback, who who um we was actually linked with in the summer. They've also got Jake Clark Salter there scoring a uh, one goal for them. Um, former Blues player, of course. Um, yeah, I thought he was decent for us. But getting on to Blues, of course, this is going to be Gary Rowett's first game back at Birmingham at City Football Club, and you can see I've got um. I've got the 2015-2016 um, jumper because, you know, it's Rowett's first game. And, uh, yeah, retro vibes. It's got retro vibes all, all over it. Um, um, so, yeah, we sit in 21st place. 38 games played. Six games. Eight, eight games, sorry. <laughs> eight games remaining. It's been a couple of days. Sorry, guys. Um, but, yeah, our last five games we've lost four and drew one. We sit one point above 21st place Sheffield Wednesday. Goal difference separates us uh, and us and uh, Huddersfield Town. We have to win. Guy Rowett has to keep us up. I mean, we can't afford to be in League One next uh, season. And I think Guy Rowett will get the players motivated. I think he'll get the. Yes, I know. You know, I know. People are saying that these are the same players. You know, not a lot's going to change. But I do think he'll get us over the line. Just. About it, probably it could actually go down to the last game. To be fair, I mean, yeah. Um, so, well, obviously we know who our top goal scorers are. We already uh, we already know that. Sorry, but yeah, my lineup for this game. I think we should go for a four four two. But Lukas Jukovic, he had that injury against Watford late on in the game, and he didn't look. It didn't look. Quite too good did it so is he going to be available we don't know yet Gary Rowe hasn't done his press conference but yeah I think we should play a 4-4-2 I think we should um, change the formation and uh, you know I looked on um, I can't remember what website it was but yeah Rowe's preferred formation apparently it's a 4-2-3-1 which I don't really get because when he was at Blues um, the first time around he played a 4-4-2 I think if Luka Zukovic is fit we should play Luka Zukovic and Stansfield and then we should have I think, I think Dembele should come back into the starting 11, in my opinion. And then Miyoshi on the right, and then and then who knows who knows what Gary Rowett's going to do. Um, is he going to... 
Imagine if he actually like throws in like a Gary Gardner, for instance. Will there be a player where he starts and we're like, wow, why is he starting? Or it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, my score predictions for this game. You can call me crazy all you like. I know QPR have been on a good run of form, but I do think we'll beat them three 0 I've got this weird feeling we're going to win three 0 And yes, we've been absolutely horrendous the last game. Well. Not last, not the last game, the last six or seven games. And I do think he'll, I think Rara, he knows what he's doing. He's an intelligent bloke, and I think he'll get us to three points Friday afternoon. 3 0 Blues, yep, 3 0 Blues. And he plays boring football, apparently. I don't really believe that, really, because um, we scored six at home under him, and I don't think we've done that. Um, yeah, that was the first time we did it in the 21st century, I believe. But yeah, let me. Free no blues. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's been Keep Watch on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you going to the game? Do you think Gary Rout will pick up his first points as Blues boss on his second return to, well, on his return to the club? Not a second return, is it? Because he's only, yeah, this is his second time here. Let me know what you think. Keep watching.